Joining us now, Marine combat veteran, retired Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North. Colonel North, thanks a lot for coming on. Good to see you, Tucker. What did you make of this? Well, I actually watched it. I was at uh, Walter Reed Bethesda uh, visiting a uh, very ill member of the service. Stunned is the right word. Uh, shocked, uh, dismayed. I think it's unconscionable what she did by injecting herself into this and by making the accusations. I can tell you from personal experience, the most difficult thing in the world you can have to do, and I, I had to do it as a casualty assistance contact officer, when, when we got wounded overseas during the war I was in back in Vietnam, if you got healthy enough that you could get around on crutches, they would often assign you a temporary additional duty of being a Keiko. And you, your job was to then go around and tell the wives of your friends that they're now widows. You walk up the walk with a chaplain. It's the most difficult thing I ever did in the Marine Corps. And, and I know what that's like. I've also seen presidents do that. I know that President Nixon did it with friends of mine. I know that President Bush did it because I watched him do it, going to see the, 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 the bedsides of dying Marines and soldiers and sailors and airmen in that same hospital I was in today and, and watched him praying with those guys. It's a, it's a very, very difficult thing to do, to walk up and tell a woman that you know and, and who the, the, was just moments before, a day before, was the wife of a friend, that she's now a widow. I, I just, I find it to be stunning that she would do this. It, it, it tells you an awful lot about what's happened, as General Kelly pointed out in that 18 minute So the soliloquy. society itself. And look, she doesn't like the president, she disagrees with him, that's obviously within bounds. I, there's evidence of this is entirely political, and I want to put it up on the screen. So Congressman Wilson's point, Congresswoman Wilson's point is, Trump doesn't know anything about the family and he doesn't care. To explain that, she sent this tweet. I still stand by my account of the call between real Donald Trump and Maisha Johnson. That is her name, Mr. Trump, not the woman or the wife. Now, the irony here, which has not been noted by the press, is she misspelled the widow's name in that tweet. Yeah. So this is deep phoniness on well, display, buffoonish phoniness on display. You know, we, we talked earlier about the fact 30 years ago this past summer I was asked to testify. Well, actually, they subpoenaed me. Yeah, I, know, I, remember, I remember. Yeah. So and one of the questions that was asked was, the day that you left the White House had to be the worst day of your life. And my answer was, no, the worst days of my life were when I held dying Marines in my arms. And then I had to write to the families and then sometimes go see them after I came back myself. And what, what presidents go through in trying to express their condolences is such a, it's such a personal and such a private and such a difficult thing. I, I find it stunning that somebody could criticize the president for doing what he did. I mean, Widow Johnson received a call that no one ever wants to get. Yes. No one ever wants to see somebody walking up their walk with a, with a chaplain with him. And, and those kinds of things happen too often in war. By the way, 56 American military personnel have been killed in training since June. That number came out of Walter Reed Bethesda today. While I was up there, I asked, and that's, that's what they told me, 56. You think about it, all of those people now wondering, is some person gonna jump up and put it on TV and grouse about something when th this is a moment of bereavement? It's, it's, a, it's a very, very personal, intimate moment, and she's, she, she's wrecked it, is what she's done. She's a wrecker. Now, th th this Congresswoman Wilson is a wrecker. I don't have anything to add to that. Colonel, you said it better than anyone could. Thank you for that. I appreciate Good it. Good to be with you, Tucker.